Hi, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Virgo. Hi, Virgo. Okay, so the decks I'm going to be using today are the Oceanic Tarot and the Romance Angels deck and the Love Oracle. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's going on for you, Virgo, for your love life for the month of July. All right, so clear the energy. Let's flip these because they're upside down. All right, we're reading now for Virgos. What do our beautiful earth signs need to know about their love life for the month of July? Angels, archangels, spirit guides, ancestors, and higher self. What do our beautiful Virgos need to know right now about their love life? Angels, archangels, spirit guides, ancestors, and higher self. What do our beautiful Virgos need to know right now about their love life for the month of July? What can you tell us about Virgo's love life for the month of July, please? All right, they want me to stop shuffling now. Or stop cutting and start shuffling. What do we got for Virgo, please? What do we got for Virgo? There's your first card. One, two. Oh, I stepped on that one. Ace of Wands, the Moon. We get. Ooh, those are wanting to flip. All right, so right away we already got a storyline developing. So there's been a change going on within you which so far has changed is changing your perspective perspective of your love life virgo the moon is about illusions um keeping things hidden from yourself or from someone else not seeing things for how they really are. It's also hiding things. And it feels like feelings. Or you not seeing something for what it is. You got Page of Pentacles. So it says opportunity. So you have the opportunity for something else in your love life. Can we get an can we get an outcome, please, for for Virgo? Woo! Oh, goodness, you got two <laughs> cards. Uh, Angel of the Ocean, Healing, and Two of Cups Partnership. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. So, again, we got change of perspective. So, I feel like you went through a massive growth period in your life. You were focusing on you, Virgo. That's what was happening. So, there was lots of growth. And it was very quick. It was very, very quick. Because it's Ace of Wands. Okay. Um, there's some things that are not being faced. Whether it's you hiding things from yourself. Whether it's you hiding things from your person. If you are in a relationship with someone. Then, you know, you're either not seeing this person for who they really are. Or you're hiding emotions from yourself about your person or you're hiding emotions um, from your person because the moon is always about living in illusion and hiding things okay honestly it feels like there's a lot of hidden emotions on either side whether it's coming from you or coming from your person there's a the feeling of not seeing things as how they really are and hiding things from each other okay you have page of pentacles which is opportunity so it came out right next to the healing card. Okay. So um, I feel, <laughs> and it's funny because it came out, there's, this is pentacle. And this, if you look at the card, the male mermaid is holding on to a golden pentacle. So it feels like there's a golden opportunity, <laughs> no pun intended, for some massive healing work. Now, if you're in a relationship with someone right now, this person is going to trigger massive healing within you. <laughs> massive. Because you got the healing card next. The angel of the ocean healing. Okay. 
So this person could possibly be someone who triggers you very often, whether you want to admit it or not. Um, so that's if you're in a relationship, then this person is going to be a person who triggers massive healing in you. Okay. Um, if you are not in a relationship, then you're just, you're healing all of the issues that you have around your love, your love life, the, um, you're healing the issues that you have and the false belief systems you have around love, which is a good thing. Because the next card you have is the Two of Cups, which everyone knows this is the card to get for love. You have a partnership coming up and a very, very strong partnership, Virgo. So all of the things you have been doing, keep doing what you're doing. It might be time to face those hidden feelings, though, Virgo, um, because you do have some really great things going on, some opportunities for healing and growth, but you got to get out of this energy of living in illusion and face whatever it is that you need to face, whether it be feelings, um, whether it be, um, you know, living in la la land when it comes to your love life it's time to wake up and face those things that are hidden that you are not wanting to face and i feel like this message comes often and up often for you virgos that that um, message of needing to face those things that needed to be fa need to be faced it seems to come up a lot, a reoccurring theme for you. Okay, so let's continue. What do we got for Virgo from our Romance Angels deck? What do our Virgos need to know? What do our beautiful earth signs need to know about their love life for July? Can we get some more clarification for Virgo about their love life, please? Can we get some more clarification for Virgo? Clear the deck energy because I just read for Leo. All right, what do we got for Virgo, please? What do we got for Virgo, please? What can you give us for Virgo for their love life, please? The spirit guides are being very picky today. They didn't want to give me anything for Leo as well, so don't feel bad, Virgo. And then what they did give us was, you know, Leo has lots of options <laughs> and moving on and legal matters. <laughs> so basically divorces for a lot of Leos, a lot of moving on due to non-attraction for Leos. I feel like there's a hair somewhere driving me nuts. So yeah, there's a lot of that going on right now. Oh, sweaty. Okay. Sorry, Virgo. There's nothing coming out for you. So trying to get you some cards all right can we get some cards for our virgos please there was one it hit the ground though what do we got for our virgos please whoa that one was going to come out and didn't so i'm not going to take it oh there goes one okay chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here Forgiving and learning. Can we get one more card for our Virgos, please? Because you guys are not giving us much right now. I feel like you guys don't want us to see what's happening in Virgos' love life right now. Can we get one more, please? Okay. Can we get one more card for Virgo, please? All right, I'm going to try to shuffle one more time. If they don't give me anything, Virgo, we're moving on. I don't know. They're like, nope. Virgo, please. Can we get one more card for Virgo, please? Oh, there it is. Nope. Oh, and nothing else. All right. Forget it. They're being very, very elusive today. Okay. So you got chem chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yes. So if you are in a relationship right now, Virgo, there's your clarification. You got the two of cups. 
you got there's a strong magnetic attraction here so yes um if you have a question about whether this person is your person yes the answer is yes you got two cards verifying that you got two of cups which is you know um divine partnership it is um two people coming together who are absolutely perfect for each other um you have chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here you also have forgiving and learning so you might have to do some forgiving. You got trust, okay? You have to trust that the feelings that you feel are valid and able to be honored. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So for some of you, there's a strong need to release the energy of past loves. If you've experienced bad relationships in the past, it's time to let those go. It's time to move on from that energy so that you can experience this dramatic chemistry and this two of cups energy. Do you want to be stuck living in the past and being afraid and feeling this feelings of um, not learning from the past and instead learn to embrace it and to say that not everyone is going to be like the people that were in your past? You know, our main focus in our lives is to let our journeys unfold and to learn from our past to so that we can embrace whatever is coming next. So it's time to learn to forgive and move on. For, forgive those people that have hurt you in the past, Virgo, and embrace this new energy. Because if you do, you have the Two of Cups. This is a divine partnership. Now, the question is, Virgo, are you going to embrace that divine partnership? Or are you going to um, repeat those same patterns of not learning from your past? Okay, and then we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So there's an energy here of you need to learn to trust yourself and mainly to trust yourself. <laughs> you also have this energy of you need to learn to trust your partner. So if you are in a partnership, you have to trust that this is the right person for you. You have to learn to trust them. You have to tr learn to trust the situation. You have to learn to trust yourself mainly and trust that you know the right steps to take for you, Virgo. Also, you have to learn to trust the universe and trust your journey. Trust that everything is unfolding for your highest good. And mainly to trust that the feelings that you are having are real. Trust your intuition and trust your gut, Virgo. All right. Can we get an outcome for Virgo, please? Can we close out this reading for Virgo, please? It's been a beautiful reading. Thank you, spirit guides. What does our Virgos need to know to close out their beautiful reading, please? Can we get an outcome for Virgo, please, for their love life? Whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. So many, many, many cards. Oh my gosh. All right. So we got magnetic attraction again. Okay. Leo also got this card. Um, yeah, I think that was the only one. I got I read for cancer too, but they didn't get it. So there is a strong magnetic attraction here. If you are with someone right now currently. You feel that pull. You know it. You can feel it, okay? If you're not, then keep an eye out because the next person that's coming in, it's going to be bam, just like that. Two, magnetic, two magnets drawn to each other. Strong magnetic pull. You also remember one of your cards here was, shoot, okay. One of your cards here that you got was like chemistry or something, right? Where was it? Let's see if we can find it. Right here, chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction. So you got it twice already so far. So this the feelings that you're feeling are real. There is a mutual attraction here, Virgo, between you and your person. Okay, the card we got after that, though, is addictions. So I don't know what that means. It's going to mean something different for everyone. You might have a feeling of being addicted to love. You might feel addicted to this person. There might be addictions in your life that you need to get rid of in order to move forward in your love life. 
it's going to mean something different for everyone. Mainly what it feels like to me, though, is there's this strong feeling that's coming through of addictions to your past. Maybe you're addicted to feeling a certain way and believing that everyone is always going to be the same as the people were in your past. You know, once we get used to a certain thing, then we expect it. And you know what that does, though? It brings in those exact same experiences again to heal them. So be careful, Virgo, that instead of being addicted to this feeling of, oh, you know, everything always turns out like this. Every relationship I've ever had turns out like this. And so therefore, they're all going to turn out the same because you have some very beautiful energies, magnetic attraction very strongly with whoever it is that you are, you know, with right now or the person coming in in your future. So the card after that is text message. So for some of you Virgos, expect that text message that says, hey, what's up? I find you sexy. <laughs> or maybe this is your energy of you reaching out to text your person and say, hey, you know, <laughs> I'm feeling this type of way. Either way, it's a beautiful, beautiful reading. All right, so we're going to go ahead and conclude that reading. Um, so for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you might know that I'm going to be hosting a workshop with two beautiful souls, Steph Brat 27, or yes, I think that's her name, Steph Brat 27 and Stephen Rock 3311. We are hosting a sound healing workshop uh, it's not just sound healing but it's going to be one of the main features we're going to be using drums and crystal bowls to assist in healing lots of things inner child work um breathing techniques there is a breathing technique it's just a fancy um <laughs> uh, phrase that we coined called astro breathing it's basically just a fancy way to say like deep breathing to help you feel like you're in the astros um but we hope that you join us on this healing journey it's going to be very intense very beautiful and we would be so honored if you joined us it's august 13th 14th and 15th that's going to be on a weekend and yes that is friday the 13th which is my lucky number and a lucky day so we would be so honored if you joined us. It's going to be at 2 p.m. on each of those days. You pay one time fee of $111 and you get three healers for three different days. So we would be so honored if you joined us and you healed on this journey with us because we are going to be healing and learning right along with you. This is the first time we've ever done anything like this and we're so excited to share this momentous learning experience with you so that we can heal together. Thank you, Virgo. I love you.